All right, it's your feel good story of the day. The yeah. Orioles, Trey Mancini, playing baseball again after a year long battle with colon cancer. Yeah, he made his return back into the national headlines. Sports director Mark Viviano, live in Sarasota with the O's on special assignment. Mark, we know you spoke exclusively with the Mancini family, and you've got the inside story of Trey's very inspirational comeback. Hey, Mark. Hey guys, well, as it turns out, there is crying in baseball, and that's okay. The ovation that Trey Mancini received here brought him to the brink of tears, and those closest to him felt every bit of the emotion. <laughs> Trey Mancini is playing baseball. One year after he was diagnosed with colon cancer and went through rigorous chemotherapy treatments. His return is cheered by millions, especially by those closest to him. His mom, Beck, and dad, Tony, were in the stands for their son's triumphant return. It was more emotional than I thought it would be when I pulled into the parking lot. It was just a reality that we were back and this was real and there was going to be a game today. And we, um, it's just a dream come true after everything he's been through. Trey's girlfriend, Sarah Perlman, was there to applaud Mancini's return. She cried at the ballpark, knowing firsthand what he had been through to get back to baseball. I think watching him today and over the last year just proves what an awesome, incredible human being he is. He had some of the worst days I've watched someone go through, and he always kept his, held, his head held up high. Anything about Trey that you've learned in this past year that you didn't know before? Uh, that he's uh, he's a tough he's a tough kid, and I'm very proud of him. I'm proud of the way that he uh, took uh, what uh, this situation that uh, he was dealt. And, uh, and again, it's it's for a reason. We all have to believe that uh, everything in life is for a reason, and he's turning it into some good. The good, Trey tells me, is the opportunity to inspire others who are diagnosed with cancer. It means a lot, uh, especially because a lot of the people that helped me get through last year were, um, you know, I had become friends with a lot of colon cancer survivors, so a lot of people helped me out. Um, through my journey and now I just kind of, you know, being able to inspire other people and help other people is, is what I see as returning the favor and something I want to do. And Mancini is taking his message beyond cancer awareness. He is, uh, his foundation is uh, now starting a new program to feed needy children in Baltimore called Blessings in a Backpack. So when it comes to those who are making a positive impact, safe to say, Trey Mancini is a home run, guys. <laughs> we'll have more on the O's in their game today coming up a little bit later on in sports. Back to you.